What is up guys? It's the man has here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Stardew Valley expanded mod pack for Stardew Valley. Now I'm going to be doing a slightly different mod pack probably than some other streamers or other people but hopefully this guide will at least teach you kind of how to install mods and get you to the next step. So this specific one though is going to be for my stream and the people that I play with um, so they can actually have the exact version I do. Um, if you like this one and you want to support me, you don't need to donate, you don't need to do anything like that. Just watch my Twitch stream. Um, I usually stream on Mondays and Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Central, and it would really help me out a lot. Uh, but let's get at it. So um, in the description below, uh, I'll put a link to this page, which is Nexus Mod. So you need to come to this page, and you need to sign in um, or sign up if you haven't. And then you have this page right here. For Stardew Valley Expanded, um, we're going to scroll down, and once you get to the installation guide, click this. It'll open up a GitHub page, which I already have here. And we are going to start installing all the mods that we need to get this game going. So, the first one is the SM API. You're going to go to this website, click down, direct download. Once you download this, um, this is like the very first step. So um, I actually downloaded all these things ahead of time so we don't have to sit and wait and watch me download all this stuff. Uh, but we are going to then move this mod um, into a holding folder on our desktop. I'm going to call it Stardew Valley Mods. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to delete it when it's done so you don't have to keep this on your uh, desktop. Uh, anyway, so we are going to drag the SM API out of your downloads folder. If you don't know where your downloads folder is, hit Control plus J if you're using Chrome. If you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox or any of the other ones, you might have to do something different. I, I'm not an expert on all of them. So anyway, um, once we have that mod inside this folder, you're going to right-click on it, extract here. You're going to load the folder and click install on windows so once you click that it's going to bring up this uh this page this command prompt now some of you it'll automatically find the game if that happens click one install it you're done if you're like me and you have multiple steam folders you might get this this error oops couldn't find the game automatically type the file path to the game directory well you're probably wondering well i have no idea where the game directory is it's really easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to open Steam, go to your library, find Stardew Valley in your list of games, click, right click on it, go to manage, browse local files. This is going to bring up your Stardew Valley, uh, like the, the path to it. So once you do that, right click on this, this uh, clipboard area and click copy address. Now, once you copy that address, we're going to minimize all of these things, hit Control V, and click Enter. Now it's going to ask, what do you want to do, install or uninstall? I've already installed it, and I don't want it to overwrite everything. What you're going to do is click 1, follow what it does, it's going to load, and it's going to close on you. Now, that's step 1. So, once that's done, we are going to then delete this from the folder we no longer need it the next step is we're going to go back to this github page and open each and every one of these tabs we're going to close that close that and we're going back on nexus mods so what we're going to do is we're going to manually download each of these. So you're going to click this little upper right area where it says manual. It'll, it'll give you a warning saying additional files required. We already just did this. Don't worry about it. Click download. Now, once you get to the download thing, if you want to pay for it, be my guest, but the free option works just fine. Click slow download, and it should start your download. And boom. All right. So then we're going to hit control J. So it brings up your downloads page, click show in folder. 
and here we are. We have this again. Um, I'm going to actually delete this one because I already downloaded all of these things, like I said, to make it easier for you guys. Um, so you don't have to sit and watch it download. Um, but anyway, so once you have each of these downloaded, we are going to go and then click on all of these and move them to that Stardew Valley Mods folder that we just had. Now, once they are here, you're going to click on all of them and click Extract here. Now, once they're all here, we're going to then drag and drop these into our brand new mods folder that was created by SMAPI. Now, we're going to go back to that Stardew Valley folder of the actual game. If you lost it, go back to Steam, go to your library, right click, manage, browse local files, and it should be right here. It's called mods. If this folder is not here, something may have been gone wrong with the Stardew modding API. Um, if it worked, you'll see a new executable down here called Stardew modding API. If this is missing, go back to the, la the first step and do it again. Um, something may happen with the install. If there's a different error, leave a comment below. I'll try and help walk you through it when I have some free time. Um, we'll get this working. Uh, but if you're like me and you have the mods folder, click on your mods folder. Now, I have all my mods already loaded. This should be a blank folder. So just for the sake of showing you what it'll look like, I'm going to create a fake mods folder so you can see what it'll look like. Okay, and this is going to just be renamed to mods. So pretend this is that mods folder. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to cut and paste all of those mods right here. Now that that's done, you are done. You pretty much have almost everything you need for Stardew Valley Expanded. Now, this will be enough to have the actual Stardew Valley Expanded for the exact mod pack that I have, where I have the larger farm and some other, and the ability to see where people are on the map we have to do a couple more steps, but this is basically it. If you wanted to have uh, uh, Stardew Valley expanded, you're pretty much done. This is awesome. Um, and you can go play and have all the new characters and learn and it'll be a lot of fun. However, we're gonna keep going cause we're gonna add a few more things. So continue with that and we're going to download two more mods from another set of websites. So if you scroll down, you can say the main mod, you're gonna download this mod from Mod Drop, which is this one, and you're also going to download Immersive Farm 2. Now, uh, you're going to download, actually, this is the main mod, <laughs> my apologies. Um, but anyway, you're gonna log into this. I logged in with Facebook. Um, anyway, you're going to go right here and click download. It's going to make you log in, log in, click it again. All you're going to do is hit OK. It'll download this folder and boom. All right. So I'm going to cancel that because I already have it. Um, show in folder. Now we're going to go back to that Stardew Valley mods folder and we are going to drag and drop both of these new files in there. Now. For this one, we're gonna extract here again like we did the last one. Now, this one's a little bit different. Um, for this one, you're gonna actually go inside Stardew Valley Expanded, inside the folder, and click all of these, cut those, and then bring those to that mod folder that we had before. So, and then boom. Then we're gonna delete, oops. I'm going to delete and delete Stardew Valley Expanded. Now we actually have the entire mod pack done. Everything else is just extra, which I highly recommend adding. If you don't add it, it won't make a difference, but if you do add it, it'll, it'll add a lot of cool stuff as well. Uh, but also, before, while we continue, we're gonna also go inside this Immersive Farm 2 remastered folder, right-click that, Copy that, cut that, and then paste that over here. Go back, delete that, delete that, 
And then we're also going to do the custom music, custom NPC exclusion, custom NPC fixes. We're gonna cut all of those and paste all of those in this mod folder as well. Now you have, if this is in your mods folder, you have exactly the same mod pack that I am using on my stream. That's that. But we're not quite done yet. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go and go back one tab and you see this Stardew modding API. We need to tell the game to start loading it from this executable instead of Stardew Valley. If you do this, you're still just gonna play the base game. You won't have mods. Um, if you try loading your file that you've played with mods on, um, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's basically gonna crash your game and nothing's gonna happen. You're not gonna lose your saves or anything like that. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you are afraid, click this folder and just copy, copy it to another folder. This is where all your saves get saved. But um, also, if you uh, if you want to be able to easily log into this API exe, there is a little trick that you can do in Steam to make it super easy. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to open Steam, go to your library, click add a game, um, add a non-Steam game, then you're going to click this browse button and go to this folder that we had. Um, so look for where it is, find it. Um, and you're going to just go and click on stardew modding api.exe, click open, and then you should be able to add selected programs to your Steam opening list. Um, and it'll actually appear right under Stardew Valley. I have it favorited already because it makes it easier for me. And click add selected programs, and you're done. You can now play Stardew Valley Expanded. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and get to all of them as quickly as possible and peace out later. <laughs>